Okay, take two. Last time we tried this, she still had an egg or two and coming out and she was not happy, although she's not happy right now anyway. But I digress. This is clutch number three of the spring 2021 season. Oh, this is our girl Brandy. She's our oldest and arguably biggest ball python. Um, Penny could give her a run for her money. Um, when we checked on her before, it looks like this clutch is a little different and certainly the eggs are larger and more what we normally see from our ball pythons. Penny's clutch where, and I'll throw up a picture of it in here, um, it was a huge clutch, 13 eggs, which is the biggest ball python clutch we've ever seen. Um, but they were a lot smaller. We normally have much larger eggs from our pythons. But these ones look like there's going to be a couple turns. So we're going to move her and we're going to cut because I think she's going to throw us, uh, give us a hard time about this. And then we'll show you the eggs. Well, not the most exciting clutch. It's a little disappointing, honestly. But, you know, that's, it's life. It's not everything is, you know, pure math. You do this, do that, then this happens. It's, that's not how things work. So we have a couple little dud eggs here. So these are infertile. They're duds. They're small. They're off color. There's nothing's ever going to come of these. So Dago food. Um, and then over here we have one, two, three, four, four good eggs. This one has a little bit, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to go. And then we have one, two, three boob, boob eggs. Um, that's just the term that has been designated as such for them but you, that doesn't mean that they won't hatch out it's a lot of times they will sometimes they won't um we're gonna try to separate them a little bit i'm really not that great at it let's do this don't rotate those because snake eggs aren't attached so right there you can see there's that little discoloration we'll just need to keep an eye on it so with that in mind, and as I said, I'm not really that great at it. I'll, I can do this, um, but Becca is much better at this than I am, so I'm going to let her do this. Um, but we're going to label this up, get them in the incubator, and we'll keep an eye on them. We'll keep you guys updated about these because, like I said before, they may not necessarily be viable, but that doesn't mean that they won't go full term. Sometimes they'll be perfectly fine. Sometimes a little small. Sometimes there's, you know, unfortunate things that happen, but that's, you know... The case may be. So with Brandy here, we're going to pull her card. So here we go. Here's who we had him, had her paired with. It's Glacier. So Glacier is our GHI Mojave. I know there's no recessives and, you know, the, the better part of my, you know, business of breeding reptiles means that I should be doing more recessives, but I really like GHI. I like the Mojave and everything else in the Bell Complex. So, you know, they're going to be good pet, uh, good pet quality animals and, um, I just like the combos. So, there you go. Clutch number three. Not the best clutch that we have so far, but overall, we've had really good success in incubating. We've only ever had, I think, two eggs and lost, and then one not, one, you know, go full term, but didn't make it out of the egg. And then one fail to thrive out of, you know, a total of three successful years of breeding and I think close to 100 babies. So, in over that course of three years, and we're getting more and more successful every year. So, but, you know, they don't all go perfectly in the way you want them to, but that's the way things go. So, stay tuned for more updates of our breeding snakes, and hopefully we'll have some more clutches, and hopefully a boa constrictor litter coming soon. Ta-ta!